Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Political Brown Kid here. And I haven't talked about the church lately. And boy, do I have a lot to say about the church and Christianity. Just haven't really delved into that topic that much. But I'm going to kind of dip my toe into it right now. Lately, I don't know why. This is probably old news to a lot of people, but it's new news to me because it's just started popping up in my YouTube um, you know, feeds. Um, and it's basically about this one pastor, I guess, down in Atlanta. Atlanta just must be off the hook. I have not been to Atlanta in a minute, but Atlanta must be off the hook. So they have this female pastor. She's a sister, by the way, and her name is Dr. Kari Turner. K-A-R-R-I, Turner. So I know a lot of you are like, oh, I know where he's going with this. But I, I didn't know anything. Like I said, it's just been popping up in my news feeds yesterday. And this female pastor has body augmentation or augmentations. Um, definitely looks or appears that her behind has, she's had augmentations done to her behind, of course, to make it bigger. And then it also appears that her nose looks like she's had a nose augmentation. But I'm just guessing if you look at the pictures. But she looks like she's had more work than just the, the big eye. And she's on the, what I saw was just her posing in a lot of pictures. She held, holding a lot of E. St. Laurent handbags, a lot of expensive designer clothing. And she's just modeling it up like she's at a photo shoot. I did not know that pastors acted like this. And, you know, a lot of you people around here, you're going to get all defensive because you just love Christianity so much because I really have a problem with Christianity. And, and this Dr. Kari Turner is just proving it. When you are supposed to be a representation of God, and number one, like I said, too, when you look at Christianity, period, and you look at the churches, I cannot respect a church or religion that just flip flops on their beliefs. One minute you believe that, you know, certain acts and certain lifestyles were prohibited and they were abominations. Now, because it's 2024 and because the government is kind of advocating for particular lifestyles, now you're all in favor for it. Um, you know, and the church just flip-flops. Now the church, there were some churches that wanted to get rid of, you know, pronouns in the Bible and refer to God as a he. And like I said, I have no idea. Like, I'm spiritual. I don't know whether God is he or she or it. I don't know. I don't know whether, you know, certain particular lifestyles are prohibited or not from the biblical perspective. But what I do know is that the church had a firm stance on these particular beliefs, and now they're backing off of them. And now to take things up a notch, now you have these pastors, such as Dr. Kari Turner, walking around, and you're supposed to be a person of God representing the word, representing the Bible, supposed to be, this is supposed to be your life that you're supposed to be leading other people into the light. You're supposed to be leading other people to enlightenment and to more spiritual connections, not material connections. And here it is. You are wearing East St. Laurent clothing. And I don't care if that you can afford it. I don't care if you're worth a hundred million and you buy East St. Laurent is probably like me shopping in Target for clothes. I don't care if the, the, the cost, if you can very much afford it. It just shows that you are still a person of this world and you're still attached to materialistic things. And definitely when you start augmenting your body and you start getting work done to your body, it's not like you're a person with a cleft lip and you need to get this done. And even people with cleft lips, you don't need to get it done. But, you know, to be aesthetically just to put yourself back to a quote unquote normal state, that's why they get those things done. And plus also having a cleft lip, it, it, it can be, you know, um, you know, you can have bacteria build up. It's not, you know, it, there can cause health issues due to, you know, the exposure of, you know, your gums and stuff. That's why your lips are there to protect you. But her work was not done to for health benefits. Her work was her body work having a butt augmentation and possibly a nose augmentation was done so that she can move around and be 
of this world and be materialistic for attention. And she's just doing it just to, uh, once again, like I say, um, promote herself. That to me is not godlike. To me, there's nothing that screams God, Jesus, as Europeans want to call them. Um, there's nothing that screams that. And so for you to not embrace the genetics that were given to you by your mother and father, and for you to go under the knife and have this work done just so you can flaunt and be quote unquote pretty and fit quote unquote pretty standards. And then for you to wear all of these outfits, short skirts, tight skirts, you know, body hugging outfits and attire, $3,000 outfits, $1,000 handbags and so forth. What does that say about religion and the state of this particular church particularly? But I mean, I'm putting all religion under the microscope because you can look at the Catholic church in all of the years, decades, eons, actually hundreds of years of um, abuse that they've done to young boys, young girls, um, and nothing has been done about the church at all. You've had the Pope and you've had cardinals and bishops turn blind eyes to this stuff. No one's gone to jail. So I'm not just attacking just this woman. This is the things that turn people off to Christianity, turn people off to religion, period. So I just want to put that thought out there. And also, if people that know this Dr. Kari Turner, if you want to shed some light on this stuff or shed light on what's going on in the church, period, please drop a comment in the comment section. Once again, this is the Political Brown Kid, everyone. Take care.